this is going to be a video on how to update your track mode and get it working with the new menu items. I have been slowly testing everything out, and it seems like most things are working. There are some small fixes you might have to do, but it's looking good. Here's how. First thing to do is exit a track mode or exit emulation station and get to the command line. If you have the latest version of RetroPie, the command line should start out with Pi at RetroPie in a green font. If you have an older version, it might not say that. It might be all black or all white. Once you're in the command line, the first thing to do is type CD, enter. The second line is MKDIR space develop, all lowercase, enter. The third one is a little longer and it's on your screen in front of you. Is GIT space clone space dash dash depth space one space HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash GitHub dot com forward slash Mickelson forward slash attract space attract and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description below as well and then you should see the following message after that once you've done that go ahead and type CD space attract enter now you're in the attract directory make space now we'll use capitals use underscore GLES equals one no spaces there hit enter and enjoy the music all right you're all now done it should be forward slash attract and a dollar sign because you're in the attract subdirectory. Next, you're going to type sudo space make space install and enter. Once that's complete, go ahead and type cd enter to go to the main home directory. Type rm space dash r space dash f space develop. Go ahead and hit enter. Now type reboot, enter. We're going to hit tab and then go into displays. Now that we have this displays menu option, we know that our track mode is updated. Shout out to the Retro Pride Gaming Facebook group. So both Dean posted the wheel artwork as well as if you scroll down, there is um, a snap wheel artwork as well link. I'm gonna go ahead and link those Dropbox links. Whatever the updated URL is, I'll put it in the description below and as I update that as it changes. You're gonna wanna go and click both those download links and download those files. Once you've downloaded those files, you want to get a USB stick. You're only going to need about 200, 300 megabytes of space on the stick. And uh, those two links should give you a snap RAR file and a wheel RAR or zip file. You're going to go ahead and extract those. The snap gives you all the different snap wheels for each system. And the wheel gives you all the different wheel uh, logos, snap wheel logos. And you're going to want these on the USB device because once we put them on the device, we're going to stick it into our Pi and transfer it over onto our image to get the uh, new attract mode looking nice and good. So you're done here once you've extracted it and you've put it in its own folder on a USB device. And now we're going to go back to the Pi. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit attract mode if you are in attract mode. And then go ahead and type in emulation station to boot up emulation station. The other thing you want to do at this point is just grab your USB stick and plug it into your Pi, into one of the USB slots. Once you're in emulation station, go to RetroPi, the regular file manager. Now within file manager, you need to find the USB, so you got to go back a couple steps, back a couple steps, go to media, and it should be the first USB device here. So I'm in the directory on my USB device that has my snap wheels. You can see I have the zip files. I also un unzipped them here. So let's do the snap first since it's the first one. Let's go ahead and enter. And you're going to see all those snap videos. So now we're going to tab over, press tab. And then you want to go into menu art. And then you want to go into snap. 
And now I've already done this, yours will look empty. So where I'm scrolling right now, up and down, this will have nothing in it. So what you need to do is tab back over, press down one, hold down the shift button on your keyboard, and just hold the down button until all these are yellow. And you might notice that right now my Zelda is yellow, but if I press down again, it goes back to black, and then yellow, and then black. So make sure this is yellow. So once you've yellowed every single one, you're gonna press F5 on your keyboard. And it's telling you, do you wanna take it from this directory to the snap directory? Yes, we do. So we're gonna press down, 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 down. A total of five downs. We're on the okay. Go ahead and press enter. After you press enter, it'll transfer all those files and you will be left on this screen and now you should have two of the files mimicked because you have it on your USB over here on the left and now you have it on your Pi over there on the right. So now we want to do the other thing which is the wheel artwork. So we tabbed over, we went, now we're going to go to the wheel directory and as you can see I already did it but you have not. So you want to do that and then you want to go back into this directory, scroll all the way to the top so you can go back a directory on this left side here. I don't know why it did that, but it just said press any key to continue. And then uh, now we're on the wheel. And as you can see, I've already copied these over, but you have not. So now that you're on the left side here, you're going to scroll down to the first line item, the Amstrad CPC, hold down the shift button, hold down the down button, go all the way down to the bottom. And again, you want to make sure you get that last file, MSX2. If you don't, it'd be black. Now we have them all highlighted, and just like the last one, we're going to go ahead and hit F5. When we hit F5, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, downs, and then you're going to hit OK, Enter. Hit the Enter button. It will then transfer these files. It should be fairly quick. Now you're all done, so you're just going to actually type F10. F10 on your keyboard is going to bring you back to the Retro Pi. So the last issue when you update a track mode is that the main games don't work in a track mode, but they do work in Emulation Station. So what you need to do is boot into Emulation Station, go into the main folder, and launch any game. And then when I launch it, I'm going to press A again to get into the settings, the configuration menu. And in the configuration menu, you want to scroll down to select default video mode for all uh, ADV main dash 0.94.0, that's the default emulator, because it, after you update a track mode, for some reason it goes to the CEA 16. So we want to go ahead and just change that to the CEA 5, go ahead and press OK, and now you can either, you can exit without launching. You will also want to do this to the Final Burn Alpha emulator and any other emulators that don't launch in a track mode. And all we have to do now is restart in a track mode. So we're just going to go down to menu items here, restart in a track mode. Now when you press tab and you go into displays, you scroll down, click into display menu options, scroll down to menu style, and go ahead and switch that to robo spin. That's what most people want to use for this image. <laughs> So here's our new attract mode. There's one button that does not work, is the PSX shoot em ups. It's just a blank spot there. You can probably go into Samba or something and, and get it to, to hide, but I'm just trying to get to it here. There's still a lot of menu items, there it is. So there's one menu item that's a question mark, you can probably get that to go away, which is the Samba hide. Uh, but all of your games now have previews, and when you click into them, they should um, also be with the robo spin as well. Some of the menu items don't have the, the actual little triangle there on the far right, like this. It doesn't have the triangle. A couple of the menus don't have the triangle. I'm sure we can fix that. It's not a big deal. Now when you press D on your keyboard, it just brings you back to the main emulator list, where in the old track mode, you would get that kind of boring list. Below in the description, you should see an I line by line what you need to type. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you could, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.